Good morning guys and uh, welcome back to Cash. Unfortunately you can see that we are in court because the wind has picked up big time today and we know from past experiences the wind in Turkey is absolutely freezing. Yeah it is cloudy, blue skies have gone and we are going to head into Cash this way and just explore the town. So that spot right here sticking out was the spot we were at for sunset last night and it was really warm with the sun reflecting off the water until the sun set and then it just went freezing and we walked really fast back to the hotel. We did and then we got back and realised that the hot air conditioning didn't work because the key wasn't in so it was cold in the room as well. And I don't know if you could see but there seems to be some sort of military boat just parked there. We're walking through where all the boats are not docked. Like, where are what are they called? Yeah, they're not docked. Oh, they are docked. They're not, not docked, but on water. I don't know. Stored. But look at the anchor. It's pretty cool. This is called Bermuda. The Bermuda Triangle. I was just saying to Ash, it's pretty cool to see boats like this because you don't get really to see the bit that's underwater on a boat very often. It's pretty cool. The propeller's quite small now, look. Oh, We've come down to the lighthouse area. The lighthouse is way smaller than it looked from all the way all over there. there. <laughs> like, I didn't think it was big, but it definitely looks smaller it's tiny. than what it is. It's really cute. It looks like, you know, when you tell a child to draw a picture of a lighthouse, that's what it looks like. <laughs> well, we've got the harbour bit here, the lighthouse here. And then just into the sea. I read it for small hotel that this island right here, I'm pointing at it, yeah, is called Mis, 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 not sure how to pronounce it, and it's actually a Greek island. So it's really cool that we're actually that close to Greece. We're down in the centre of Cash now, and it's about 12 o'clock, it is Friday afternoon. It's absolutely dead here. There's only a few people walking about. A few cars and stuff go past. considering yesterday it was a lot busier when we were walking through here. It could be because of the weather, but the weather's not bad. It's just a windy. Yeah. We're going to go down some of these small streets and see if there's like cute little shops and things down there. Like I was saying yesterday, it reminds me of like a little Greek village on an island, a Greek island. We've got these little streets leading up. A lot of buildings are white. Very Greek feel, isn't yeah. it? We are really close, like as you said, to the Greek island of Mis. 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce it. The rain's just started a little bit, but we're going to carry on walking through these streets. I'm not going to let the weather ruin it. Right. Okay, as you all know, Cassie gets a postcard for her grandmother every country we go to, so we just go into a little souvenir Look how shop. Cool these are, they're made out of pebbles. Oh, that's supposed ones. to be Cappadocia. They're all made out of pebbles, how cool are they? Look at the potato one. And then these little shells. Wow, so unique. We've just had some lunch in the spot over there. It came to a total of three pounds 
30. £3.30. And we had a couple of cheese toasties, a plate of chips between us and a couple of Cokes. I did have a quick Google on what to do in cash and it seems to be a very summer orientated place. There's lots of water activities like scuba diving, snorkeling, boat trips to be taken to the islands. So definitely more of a summer place than a winter place. Even though it's not that cold, it's way too cold to get in the sea, I'm gonna say. Yeah. It's not the right weather to go swimming or snorkeling or scuba diving or anything like that. But you can also <laughs> rent quad bikes and there's like some buggy tours I think that they do around the area. So that seems pretty cool. Again, more of a summer thing, I reckon. Yeah, probably. One thing that surprises us about Turkey is how many of the ancient ruins or the ancient cities that there, that there actually are here. Yeah, and how well kept they are. So when we went to Ephesus, we thought that was like one of the only ones or we thought... Yeah, because it, was, because it was so well known, you think that it's unique and that there isn't anything like it. But they seem to be everywhere, like yeah. this one. It's just on the edge of Cash, it's on the western side. It's spectated up to 4,000 people. It dates back to the 1st century BC and it was restored in 2nd century AD. AD. Look how cool it is, quick. Well, look how cool it is. So we're going to head up to the top, is it? Yeah. So when you're down the bottom of the amphitheatre looking up, it doesn't look like 4,000 people would fit in you. But once you climb to the top and look down, it looks so much bigger. We were just saying that if we knew about this place yesterday, we might have come and checked it out at the sunset because it would have set just by there and being higher up, you would have had a cool view. It would have been awesome. Although the place we were yesterday was really good yeah, as well. Yeah, it was a very good place, yeah. I can imagine this place being packed out. There's some sort of like performance going on down there, the sun setting or something awesome. in the summer. That'd be cool. What a place. I oh. don't know if they still have like little shows here. They could, that'd be cool. Now there's one in Antalya that we've seen that was the most preserved one. Ooh. And they still have concerts and ballet in the summer months. Wow. Oh, I'm excited to check that one out. We've just climbed up. The amphitheatre is just down here, Cash is there, we've got this view of the Mediterranean Sea. The rain still seems to be holding off a little bit. So I think we're going to head that way. Yeah. There should be a couple of beaches further on, I don't know how long it takes to get there though. We'll soon find out. It's definitely a cool place to come for a couple of days. I wouldn't probably spend more than two or three nights here, maybe in the summer. Two nights here in the winter is enough. Oh yeah, definitely. Once you've walked around, it's not a big place. Had some lunch or whatever, seen the views, hopefully have decent weather, catch a sunset. We're going to head this way, check out some beaches. Uh, definitely highly recommend coming here if you're, going, if you're in like Fete or Antalya area. You could like come down on a little bus trip. Yeah, especially if you're planning on going from Fete to Antalya, take a stop off in cash oh, yeah, on the 100%, way. Yeah. Or the other way around if you're going to Antalya to Fete. Anyway, let's get down from here. We've made it down to this beach area. It's called Small Pebble Beach. Well, that's what it says on the sign anyway and the water is super super clear here you can imagine in the summer this would be a perfect place to get in the water 100%. obviously a lot of the beaches here are pebbles or stones see why it's called small pebble beach the pebbles are very small a lot of the beaches here are pebbles or little stones um, so i recommend bringing sort of like water shoes or something
We're at one of the last beaches here. We passed a couple on the way, but we didn't take the path down, which carried on going. But the rain is starting to come down. It's meant to get worse as the hours go by, so we are going to head back. Hey guys, I've been editing the video and realised that we haven't done an outro once again. I apologise for that. If you are new around here, please hit subscribe. It does help us out massively if you give the video a thumbs up as well. And we will see you in the next one tomorrow.